Hello everybody, my name is Blueberry Jeans, you can call me Blue, and welcome to Let's Play Celeste. Last time we began our journey up Celeste Mountain with the prologue, uh, and then got into chapter one where we met Theo over here, and have done just, you know, basic mechanic introductions of the game. Uh, this time, we're just going to be making our way through the rest of the, uh, rest of the Forgotten City. Uh, or Forsaken City, my bad. Um... So yeah, I, I uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, and I've I've lost it. So, <laughs> dude, I've lost it. Not even gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm going insane. Uh, get up, go. Congrats, you you have you have done it. Uh, okay, let's head up here to this little area over here. Got a strawberry right here. We also have these birds again, doing this little dance. Uh, and then this, uh, TV and satellite dish, uh, blinking a bunch of colors. Uh, so, I should probably guess the colors are, you know, related to the birds of the, of the same color. Uh, but the birds themselves are showing different dash directions, is what the, uh, the, the, the puzzle here is supposed to be. And we just gotta do them in the order presented on the TV. So, I messed that up, didn't I? I... Guys, I swear I know what I'm doing. I've done this before, I promise. Pointless machines. So that was a crystal heart. Another, uh, another collectible throughout this game. There is... One for- oh my goodness, the volume. I should prob- <laughs> You know what, hold on, I'm gonna cut this. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just like- that volume hit me and I'm like, man, maybe I should bump this down. Hopefully I'm audible in episode one. Ugh. Um, anyway. That was a crystal heart. There's one, uh, in every level. Uh, and they're usually locked behind, uh, very cryptic puzzles. Um, like that one, uh, that usually take a bit to solve. You can't, you don't just find them. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go this extra pathway. I might later on uh, in a in another video show what's on that other pathway. But Ugh, there's no collectibles, so I'm not going down it since you can only go down one of these. Uh, so let's head up here. Uh, so we have these platforms that collapse. These ones over here fall. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. I should say also. <laughs> Uh, I'm, you're probably gonna occasionally see me doing something weird. Uh, I'm, I'm used to doing a lot of speedrun tricks with this game. I'm not, like, the biggest speedrunner at all, but, you know, I've, I've learned a couple of, uh, tricks and I've gotten used to using them. Uh, I'll talk about speedrun stuff later on. Right now, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and limit how many of them I do. Uh, but it might just be habit for me to do a wacky little technique, uh, for fun. You know how it is. Uh, this room's always been a bit weird. Uh, the idea... Okay, that works. I didn't die, so I'll take that. Uh, but yeah, the way I use... Uh, hair in my mouth. Uh, way I usually do this room, as I just did, grab the back of that, but I've seen a lot of people do it, uh, a lot of different... A lot of very, uh, unique and fun ways. Uh, that's how I do it. It's a weird room. However you do it, uh, is pretty fun. <laughs> uh, over here. Strawberry. Down a cliff. Hop it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm... Everything is okay. Like, you don't even need to worry a thing. Okay? We're good. Uh, over here. I just skipped that entire room, but it's fine. So that is a B-side uh, cassette tape. Uh, the B-side cassette tapes uh, are locked behind those little rhythm rooms, uh, which might look very familiar if you've played something like Mario Galaxy with the B-block mechanics. Um, ugh. 
Oh my goodness, I keep burping and it sucks. I'm so sorry if this is, like, unfun to listen to me burping. I'm so sorry. Um, B-side cassettes, that's right. Uh, so yeah, uh, B-side cassette tapes behind those B-block rooms, uh, they, uh, they unlock harder versions of the level they are in. There's one in each level. Um, they unlock harder versions of each level, which I will, uh, be going through, as I likely said in the, uh, in the announcement video that I probably did. I'm really hoping I did. I really, I'm really hoping I do that, because I'm planning on it, and if something comes up and if I don't do it, then it's gonna be really weird, and I'm gonna have to retroactively talk about a lot of stuff. Uh... So, yeah, uh, <laughs> hoping, hope, hoping oh so much that I was smart in the future. Uh, okay. Uh, and we're wrapping up the chapter right about now. We are, uh, just here at the end. Celeste Mountain. This memorial is dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Ugh, I'm exhausted. This might have been a mistake. And that is chapter one cleared. Uh, on the so first of all, we've got this really cute art. Uh, every level ends with this, with a little splash art right here. Uh, but I just wanted to point out that uh, this title uh, on the screen, Chapter Clear, uh, this will only specifically say clear if you've gotten all the collectibles in the level, otherwise it will say Chapter Complete. Uh, so there's that as a little uh, heads up. All right, we have just unlocked chapter two, the old site. Uh, we're not gonna be going into that in this episode. Uh, might even uh, probably be wrapping up soon. Um, hopefully I can like, I don't know, find a way to upload things longer than 15 minutes and then I can just like edit these two episodes together. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, anyway, I wanna talk about this. Uh, while you're on the main menu, uh, in the corner down in the bottom left, you can see a little book icon. If you hit the left, uh, left, uh, left trigger button, you can open up, uh, your notebook. Uh, in here you can see a lot of stuff. On this first page you can see progress. Uh, shows you your death count, your, uh, strawberries, uh, and whether you've collected the cassette and the crystal heart for every level, as well as your best time, uh, on the far right. But most uh, importantly, why I wanted to bring this up is on the very far uh, left of the bar is a little flag. It is a yellow flag. Uh, normally, that'll be a green flag unless you specifically get a chapter clear. If you go start to finish through an entire chapter and get every collectible, you'll get a yellow flag. Uh, that is an important thing I wanted to mention. I wanted to bring that up. Uh, on the second page of the notebook, you can see your speedrun records. Uh, this, again shows uh, your best time uh, for uh, clearing a level and then fully clearing a level for all the collectibles. Uh, this will also show your B-sides uh, once you beat those. Uh, shows your fewest death records. Uh, I don't think I have to explain what that means. And then a page for all of the crystal hearts uh, and their names. Uh, our one crystal heart so far we got from chapter one, Pointless Machines. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> already a... Uh, it's a, almost as long as the last one. It's probably fine. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode on Celeste. Next time, uh, we're going to be jumping into Chapter 2, The Old Sight. See you all then.